But so the goal is for nobody to kill anybody for three days. Erica Bridgeford is passing out flyers for her second Baltimore ceasefire event. No stranger to violence, she founded the effort to stop the killing in the city. She was 12 when she watched her friend Mike get shot and killed. Yes. Tell me about that. So I was in my bedroom window there, I heard gunshots. He came and was bleeding out right here. And the next day when I got home from school, I learned that he died in the ambulance. What did that do to you? It broke me in a lot of ways because it made me at 12, like really be scared that that was gonna happen to a lot more of my friends. And it did. 13, Roddy got killed. And then when I was 14, Kirk got killed when I was just starting at Western. And you know, and it was ongoing. Bridgeford's lost a brother, stepson, a cousin, and many more. How many people have you lost? The sad thing is I don't really know how many. Like there's too many to count. So I do know that at 45, I feel the way people in their 80s feel, where you look around and just a lot of people are gone already. She had thought of starting ceasefire two years ago, but it wasn't until her son said this that she really got the ball rolling. By May of this year, my 19-year-old son said, Mom, did you know the murder rate is higher than it's ever been? And I just went off. She went off because she works for the Baltimore Community Mediation Center, teaching people how to resolve conflict. Hello. She works with kids, police, communities, and businesses. Hopeless feelings sometimes, you know, helpless, more than hopeless, really, that you're doing the work and people are still dying. During the last ceasefire, people who were committing much of the violence told Bridgeford they would hold off during the ceasefire weekend. We went 41 hours in a space where Baltimore, there was murder about every 19 hours. There were 41 hours before somebody got killed. And then there was this five hour block of time where two people got killed. The Baltimore ceasefire. As she walks the streets telling people about the next ceasefire, the community is buying in, displaying her flyers and asking, how they can help. So we're doing it every three months. People around the city know Bridgeford. They stop her to tell her about the people they've lost. Can I give you a hug? I'm so sorry. Bridgeford says she will hold Baltimore ceasefire quarterly, but it's her hope to put ceasefire out of business. Lisa Robinson, WBAL, TV 11 News. It's a remarkable woman. Well, the second Baltimore ceasefire weekend starts this Friday. By the way, last weekend, Bridgeford was invited to give a TED Talk, and you can see some of it on WBAL-TV's mobile app and our website.